The command to be fruitful and multiply is given to Adam and Eve in the garden. Uh, and so oftentimes the question comes up, do we have to have children um, or can we choose not to have children? Well, I, I, I think the, the answer to that question is, is twofold. One, uh, you've been designed by God physically, emotionally, to have children. It's God's big plan is for man and woman to marry and to have children unless they're called to singleness. So I, I think the question I'd, I'd like to ask back, and this is a, I, I kind of want to know why you, you wouldn't want to have children. I think more often than not, what gets revealed is a type of selfishness of heart or some sort of fear that's either rooted in an experience or not rooted in reality at all. And, and so really, I think the question um, reveals that something's going on in the heart that has to be navigated. It, uh, are you living for one's own comfort? Is it that you don't think you'll be a good mom or dad because your mom and dad weren't a good mom and dad? See, the gospel wants to speak to all of those scenarios and all of those situations. And so I, I think that biblically speaking, a man and woman should pursue the gift of God in children. Anything you want to add? Are you going to disagree? No, not completely. Okay. I think I would add to that. Okay. Once you've done the work of digging into your heart and seeing, is it fear? Is it is it selfishness that I don't want children? I do believe there's still people that um, are able to have children, um, or maybe they're not. They're not able. Let me say that they're yeah. not able, but maybe they don't feel called to adoption, and there are some that don't aren't able to have kids and they do feel called to adoption i think the be fruitful and multiply um if you're willing to still spend your life on yeah. um on making disciples on uh, maybe being fruitful and multiplying in in ways that maybe we don't see so i know a woman that she can't have children and i know she wants to be married someday and um but and I don't know if she feels called to adoption, but she is being fruitful and multiplying sure. by making a lot of disciples through um, a discipleship process. So um, I would say absolutely what's holding you back, search your heart and um, truly ask the Lord, is this me? Is this a fear that I haven't dealt with? Is this something that I'm just being selfish in? Or is there something that, that the Lord's calling you to do to maybe lay down that way of being fruitful and multiplying and taking up another way, um, that making disciples? Because that's part of um, sure. having children is having um, these little disciples that Lord willing, He would capture their hearts and you do everything you can to make, to as you say, put the kindling around so that the Lord would ignite that fire and that they would make disciples and I think also you can be fruitful and multiply by not having children as long as you're doing that hard work of sure. what's this about.